I'm back, guys. Um, I'm spoiling this. That's six videos in about in this month alone. So yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Um, hope you're doing well again. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching the videos. Um, yeah, quite like I say, boxing has been quiet of late when it comes to these big fights being made. Uh, we've got to wait. What? Wembley card September 21st. We've got Bivol and Bert Biev coming up. We've got, I'm probably missing a couple of other fights, but there's some big fights happening, but not until September. We've got a long wait to happen. Yeah, at least a few weeks anyway. But I do want to touch on what's been announced or a fight being talked about in the near future, and that is uh, Shakur Stevenson against uh, Joe Cardina. Um, I know Joe Cardina very, very well. Um, I want, and I also want to touch on sort of like the state of the lightweight division. I mean, the lightweight division right now should be the best or the hottest division. I mean, with the talent that's in it. Um, look at the champions. Just look at the fighters in that division. You've got Lomachenko, IBF. Denis Baranchik, a Ukrainian as well. Uh, WO. Then you've got WC, Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis, the, the WBA. Now, when you look at them, them fighters, the, the Lomachenkos and the Tank Davises and the Shakur Stevenson, them three alone have been in that pound-for-pound -pound top list for however long, or they've been dipping in and dipping out for however long. So the lightweight division should be the best division in boxing right now. We should be talking about it a lot more. We should be... Yeah, we just it should be that red-hot division, but it isn't, because these champions aren't fighting each other. There was talk about Lomachenko versus Tank Davis, which is a style that I would love to see, the, the, the styles of fight, the way they both bring to the ring, the IQ that's in that ring all at one time um, would be insane. But that didn't come about. Then we seen the Shakur Stevens Lomachenko back and forth ringside on the August third Beard season card in LA. Um, again, I can't see that anything coming happening with that fight. Um, William Cepeda was meant to fight Shakur Stevenson, which is a great fight. William Cepeda is a great, great fighter. Thirty-one wins, I think, 27, 28 knockouts, whatever it may be. Dennis Baranchik, unbeaten Ukrainian, ten wins, nine knockouts, or something. Like that. Again, I'm not on box right, right now, so don't quote me on this. Um, so. It should be this red hot division. There was a lot of emphasis on the undisputed a couple of years ago when Canelo did it, Josh Taylor did it, Usyk did it, Devin Haney, Teofimo Lopez. If you want to see, he was undisputed champion. When all these guys would become a new year as well, there was a lot of emphasis on becoming undisputed, um, and I think these lightweights should really want these fights to be made, and even with sort of like the way the powers are right now in boxing with promoters and managers and whatnot, I think that maybe, maybe, these fights can be made. Um, but they haven't been made. I mean, for Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis, but how long has that been going on for? But that They should just fight each other. I don't know what the sticking point is there. I know both fighters aren't scared to fight each other. Um, and that's the, that's, that's the fight where you've got Shakur's defensive IQ... Boxing IQ in against Javonte Davis, who is the, doesn't throw many punches, but he's more effective with his punches. So it's good. That's a that's a that's a stylistic fight that just makes sense for the fans, for them, for everybody involved in boxing that loves the sport. The only way to beat Shakur Stevenson isn't to match his boxing IQ. I don't believe. I think you need to put it on him. You need to stick it on him. William Cepeda, and if that fight was. They uh, got given the green light. That would have been a good fight. I would have tuned into that fight because of William Sabeda's style. Giovanni Davis is the same. He's got that style where he'll put it on you. Um, and he packs a punch in that lightweight division. So does Cepeda. Um, Shakur Stevenson maybe doesn't pack the punch, but he peppers you. So again, it's in that style. Then Chuck and Lomachenko, who's going to be in the Hall of Fame, obviously. Um, I think for him, on a personal level, he wants to be undisputed. I think he... After missing out with the Teofimo Lopez fight and the Devin, Devin Haney fight, I think Lomachenko wants it. I think he wants to become undisputed. Um, I, I think that we need to see these fights. I think we really, really need to see that those four, whether it be those four. I think Cepeda and Baranchek are close to making a fight, I think. So if, if, if William Cepeda beats Baranchek and he become W.O., then chuck him in there, right? But they need to fight each other. It, it just needs to happen. We need to see an undisputed champion at lightweight. Put a mini tournament on or something like that. And um, with Turkey's power and his influence in boxing right now, he, uh, hopefully that can be done. I think that's that that lightweight division should be the most exciting division in boxing right now. In terms of these guys fighting each other, the big fights should be made, and they're not doing it. And um, then we, we see what the announcement a couple of days ago, the talk. I think it was a boxing news or a couple of outlets, um, and Shakur mentioned it as well on his um, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Sorry. 
mentioned Joe Cortina fight. Joe's won a British title at lightweight. He is quite big. He's quite he is big. I think he'll fill into lightweight quite nicely. Um, and it probably makes sense for if Matchroom do sign Shakur Stevenson, and it does make sense for the Cordina fight as a voluntary for that um, for that WBC world title. I know Joe's coming off a loss. Um, it will be a voluntary voluntary defence. Both for Matchroom if Shakur signs with Matchroom. It, it's a good fight. It's a, it's a it's a good fight, and I can remember when. Joe Cordina won beat Ogawa when he stopped Ogawa for the IBF for the first title um, he called out Shakur Stevenson I didn't call him out said he would welcome a fight with him when Shakur was a WO champion I think that down at Super Featherweight so there has been talks of them two fighting when they were both champions at Super Feather at 130 pounds now they're 135 pounds Joe fell into that weight division nicely he's big he's solid um, people might think Shakur's bigger but uh, I don't know, I think Joe might be bigger. I think he was struggling at the Super Featherweight division. Um, I think it's the right time for him to move up. Um, two seconds, I have my daughter trying to sneak in the door there. But I think it's an alright little fight. It makes sense. Um, if you're a match room, if you're in that match room promoter and stuff like that, it does make sense to keep it in-house. And it's a good fight for Shakur Stevenson. Um, bring him to the UK, why not? Um, I'm sure he would love to fight in the UK, Shakur Stevenson. Um, but I still think this lightweight division, it's, it's 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 a mess right now. It's stinking. It should be the best division right now in world boxing. Just look at the talent that's there. Let me go on box, Rick, actually. Let me just see who's in in there or thereabouts because I mentioned the champions there with William um, Cepeda. So you, it's like, come on now. If you just look at the state, look at, look at what we've got in boxing right now with what Turkey El Sheikh is doing out in Saudi Arabia, the LA show, the Wembley edition show with Joshua Dubois and Kelly and Smith and all these guys, Boatsy and Hutchinson. And then we had Crawford and Madrimov and all the heavyweights and Jarrell Miller and Andy Ruiz fighting each other. It just makes sense. It just, why would you want to fight each other? Do you know what I mean? There's plenty of money in the pot. There's plenty of money in that pot. Um, so just do it. Just do it. Just fight each other. It's not loading up my box trick, so it is what it is. But... I mean, let me know what you think. Do you think the lightweight division should be the best division in, in boxing right now in terms of the fighters that are in it, the guys that are in there? I mean, Tank Davis, exciting, explosive, pound for pound. Shakur Stevenson, pound for pound, unbeaten. Loves to trash talk, which we love to see. Lomachenko, you know what you get Lomachenko. Silky, smooth, footwork, power, skill set, everything that works. Boxing IQ, southpaw. It's just, it's, he's just an awesome, awesome fighter. Then you chuck in Baranchik and Cepeda with the power and those sort of styles, those that's come through, one punch knockout artists. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Do, are you happy with the Cordina Shakur Stevenson fight? Let me know. Let me know about that. But let me know about the lightweight division. Should it be the best division in boxing right now? I think it should. Um, but let me know what you think. You know what to do? Leave a comment. Let's uh, let's engage. Let's communicate. Let's create a community. But yeah, lightweight division. Let's go. Boop.